Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe some of the uses of monoclonal antibodies. In the last video we saw that monoclonal antibodies are produced from a single clone of identical hybridoma cells. This means that monoclonal antibodies are specific to a single binding site on one protein antigen. Now we can produce monoclonal antibodies against any antigen that we want. So this makes them extremely useful in medicine and we're looking at some of these uses in this video. Firstly, monoclonal antibodies are used for diagnosis and a good example is in pregnancy testing. In pregnancy testing, monoclonal antibodies are used to detect a specific hormone. This hormone is produced by the placenta of the developing fetus. Now pregnancy test kits based on monoclonal antibodies are cheap and they're easy to use. The woman simply urinates on the test strip and looks for a reaction. The test is also highly accurate if it's used correctly. Monoclonal antibodies are also used extensively in labs. We can use them to measure the levels of hormones in blood. For example, if a person's tired a lot and lacks energy, then that can be caused by low levels of certain hormones. So a blood sample is taken and sent off for analysis. The test for these hormones uses monoclonal antibodies. We can also use monoclonal antibodies to detect pathogens in the blood, for example viruses. The advantage of using monoclonal antibodies in these cases is that they're completely specific to what we're looking for. Another use of monoclonal antibodies is to locate or identify specific molecules in a cell or tissue. For example, in this cell, monoclonal antibodies have been attached to fluorescent dyes. The antibodies then stick to specific molecules within the cell and allow us to see their locations. Okay, the final use of monoclonal antibodies is on treating diseases. As we saw in a previous video, cancer cells undergo uncontrolled mitosis and they spread around the body. Scientists can make antibodies specific to cancer cells. We then attach a radioactive substance or a toxic drug to the antibody. When the antibody is injected into the blood, it attaches to the cancer cells. Now the radioactive substance or the toxic drug stops the cancer cells from growing and dividing. The advantage here is that the antibody delivers the substance specifically to the cancer cells without harming other cells in the body. Now there is a problem. In certain drug trials using monoclonal antibodies, they've been found to produce very harmful side effects. So at the moment there are only a few drugs in use based on monoclonal antibodies. However, in the future that's likely to increase. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on monoclonal antibodies in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe some of the uses of monoclonal antibodies.